Episode of the Yabby and the Lemur. This is uh, CF Roberts and uh, my new friend Heather and Creepy Charlie, and we're all just kind of hanging and banging. <laughs> well, we're hanging anyway. You want banging, you'll have to go elsewhere. <laughs> At least on our time, bucko. Anyway, we wanted to uh, say hi to you and welcome you to this new episode. <gasps> Do we have anything intelligent to talk about? We seldom, if ever, do. I don't know. What do you think Creepy Charlie has to say? Not Creepy Charlie. I had plenty to say a while ago. I can't hear who I'm down to, bro. You know, that guy out there with the truck? You know, that thing. Yeah. Oh, you'd know him if you saw him. Oh, wait a <laughs> you're, uh, you're, you're channeling Jerry Wayne Higginbotham there, pal. That just doesn't seem right at all. Uh, he's, he's having, Charlie's having an off night, really. We're all kind of having an off night, I don't know. We went to a fine dining establishment, and I think the appetizer platter kind of did us in and kind of ripped us up inside. Yeah. We're, we're not going to mention any names because the waiter in particular was a swell guy and, uh, you know, we made sure it hit him real well. But, 
Yeah. I think we could say the uh, they rhymed with Benny, so. Ugh. Yeah, anyway, we gave uh, we gave Charlie some of the uh, cherry fondue, and uh, I, it wasn't a pretty sight. No. I mean, Charlie's never a pretty sight, but you, know, you should try to keep him away from cherry fondue at all costs. <laughs> anyway, this is like one of those moments where we like segue over to some friggin' segment or something, so off you go. Enjoy. Hi-ho, sailor. I'm Harrison Gethrix Jones, and I'd like to talk to you about my old pal Matisse. And, uh, he used to paint ants. And, uh, oh boy, were they mighty ants. And they were ants the size of the friggin' Empire State Building. Big old, big ass ants. 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 And uh, they had legs and stuff. And uh, guts. And even ants have those, you know. And even ants, uh, you know, even ants got ants that are called the nature. <laughs> so, anyway, we had this party. And there's all kinds of stuff going on, but uh, the nice thing is that uh, we were undisturbed by local law enforcement. But anyway, you know, and I'd like to give a salute to uh, all our friends, and uh, you know, you can't have too many teaspoons in your house. And uh, you need the spoons, you, and you need the sugar. So you can't have a spoon without sugar. And so anyway, the day they painted me chrome, it was really kind of tragic, you know, and it was sort of painful, but anyway, that was for charity. So it was a good thing. And Annie, they gave me a lot of testosterone and stuff, and I started like, growing a Fu Manchu, and that was pretty cool. And uh, so anyway, it took me forever to flush that out of my system. And so, uh, let's talk about patronizing, patronizing the arts. And how important that really is. And, you know, the next time somebody wants to mold you a gigantic chop spent phallus, I'd say that uh, you should probably let them go for it, you know? Because art doesn't come along every day. Art doesn't exactly march up your rear every time the sun rises. So, um, so then, there were the pyramids. And uh, so back in the back in those days when I was hanging around the pyramids, you know, I was basically your equivalent of a galley slave helping build pyramids out of asparagus. When all of a sudden the sun came up, and it was amazing. I hadn't seen it for 24 whole hours, and then there was a, and then you know we had to deal with the Manx cats, and there was. Um, it was incredible. And so we had the Manx Cat Sunrise, the uh, Ramsey's Pork Chops, and uh, yeah, I think there's some sauerkraut in there. And then, uh, so, you had um, the American Revolution, and George Washington stopped to pray in the woods at the pyramids. And it was pretty incredible back in those days. And uh, George Washington and his crew were a bunch of delightful hormongers. I really enjoyed them. And so anyhow, we were paneling. So there was a lot of paneling back in those days. And that's the secret of the pyramids. It was really built out of cheap particle board and paneling. And it's just disguised to look like stone. And underneath there is not king's tombs or anything. It's a lot of cans of plank pineapple and so anyway if you go to the pyramids you know and you start po poking around in there you don't have to worry about a mummy's curse you do have to worry about the pineapple though and so anyway i would like to stick around and say a few more things about the basic different types of mankind and or scabs on pe people's knees but i really do need to get going i've got a lot of stuff to do i got the lecture tour so anyway i've got to get out of here i got to have that flight to norway so anyway having said all that i'm person getrix jones and 
I hope that gets cured really, really soon, because, you know, you look like hell. See ya. Yeah. And next up, a fly marrying a bumblebee. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> a fly marrying a bumblebee. Oh, the little creatures. The little creatures of nature. They don't know their own. I told you I'd shoot, but you didn't believe me. Why did you believe me? Oh, the festering corpse of Burl lives. <laughs> Silver and gold. Yeah. Silver and gold. <laughs> Silver and gold. How do you measure its worth? Just by the pleasure it gives here on earth. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, that's uh, just uh, just the uh, the issue of when you have when you have when you have to say something, but you have nothing to say. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm your friend. Uh, your friend. God damn it. <laughs> All right, well, we hope you enjoyed the add-on. We're back, and Heather's mad at me. Uh, Why are you so mad at me, Heather? <sighs> Where to begin? The uh, the constant mentioning of Wilford Brimley. And Bill O'Reilly. And, Bill o and intimate moments. Ladies don't like that. Yeah. The ladies do not like Bill O'Reilly being mentioned when you're being fondled. It's not good. This, this I have found out. <laughs> this I have found out. And that's a tip to all you guys. Yeah. No Bill O'Reilly. No Bill O'Reilly, no Wilford Brimley. And ladies... It's the right thing to do. <laughs> See, this is what I have to put up with, folks. Yeah, yeah. And ladies, no Ann Coulter. You know, guys don't... I mean, Creepy Charlie has more sexual, natural charisma than that lady. She's a scam. A scam. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, one thing, you know, just one thing you seldom, if ever, hear about Ann Coulter, and I don't know who might want to second me on this, but has anyone ever noticed that that lady has an Adam's apple? She's dude uh, she, She's a fucking guy. <laughs> I mean, I, I am absolutely convinced Ann Coulter is a man. You know, you could not, you could not. Look at the size of her hands. You could not convince me otherwise. She's got giant fucking man hands. Uh -huh. She's got man hands and a man face. She's a dude. Yeah. As much as I think, I don't know if she's one of those one of those conservative commentators, who's like a big gay basher or anything like that. But as she's like me disparaging comments on transvestites or something like that, there's no way that lady's not transsexual. Yeah, seriously, I think somebody's just trying to cover up too much. The, the, I mean, the, the, I, oh. I, I know a few transsexuals, you know, I mean, it seems to me as though this is the case. Yeah, the, the tranny doth protest too much. So. Yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely one of those cases. <laughs> it's a little too close to home. But I forgive you. Oh, that's cool. You see, this is really cool because she is a free, she is a forgiving type. For the most part. And she wears those kick-ass socks. Look at these socks. I mean, can you ask for more? The answer is no. Damn. <laughs> Damn. God damn it. Anyway, we're going to go to a video clip, and uh, we're going to show you some new video by uh, Stocky, Male. Stocky Male Negro. Great local band, Stocky Male Negro, and uh, here's their latest video hit. Enjoy. Sweet. Watch the children at the bus are rocking my body. 
too loud Cause the teeth smells cloud John Oates is Satan. No, Carly Simon is Satan. Oh, uh, do you really think so? Oh yeah, she's a she's a baby eater. Oh, look out, folks! We got the Carly Simon rant coming now. Oh yeah. Okay. The thing about Carly Simon is like, she first of all, she's got a big freaking mouth, giant freaking mouth. You know, a mouth that one would eat babies with. You she know? eats babies with that mouth. She does. She does. You know, she probably lives like underneath a bridge, like a fucking troll. You know, and eats babies, and writes these absolutely hideous songs that are supposed to empower women, which, you know, no, does not empower women. Jesse, I give up my ovaries for you. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. It empowers the yeah. hell out of me. Yeah. Well, and it's like, okay, it, what is the big deal about her being, like, so beautiful? Like, I don't see it. She looks like a troglodyte. I mean, what the hell? Like, what, what, where's the beauty? What, cause troglodyte she, with the big baby eating mouth. Yeah, yeah she's got a baby eating mouth. Oh, yeah, so she showed, like, half an ass cheek on her album cover. That means she's hot now. You know, you know, big freaking deal. That's not hot. You're, you know, woo, you know, oh, now I'm hot and sexy. Woo. Well, you sure are. Aw. Turn away if it makes you sick! <laughs> so much as he's like anti-cannibalism. Yeah. Well, can you imagine waking up in the morning and being like, you know, like, God damn it, honey, there's there, you know, there's bloody strollers all over the kitchen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, it's kind of like you never know how long it's going to be before the cops come after that shit. <laughs> well, not if you're Carly Simon. You yeah, know? Well, Carly Simon yeah. evidently has some friends high up. Yeah. yeah. Or some friends deep down low. Yeah. She probably filleted him with her baby mouth or something. <laughs> yeah, she sucks. Yeah, you know, and I just hate this whole idea that like all these like wimpy females are supposed to like be our heroes, like be you know like my hero because I'm a girl. Like, no, <laughs> no. Like, what about Wendy O. Williams? You know, or Debbie Harry? I mean, those are awesome women. You know, and they don't eat babies. Yeah, Wendy, Wendy blew up a few cars and yeah. Know. Wendy's Wendy destroys shit. She's right up my alley. Damn straight. Yeah, and she sang with Lemmy. And she sang with Lemmy. God damn it, Lemmy is God. Mm-hmm. Or at least a God. Mm-hmm. Maybe not the God. He's a God. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. Here's another sequence for you. Uh, I have no idea what it is because we've taped this before we actually created the sequences, but here's another little tidbit for you. Enjoy. It's chock full of goodness. Yeah, it always is.
This is a song about a true experience here. Bobbling nudity is nothing new to me. I was born in the dumpster, grew up in the guy's lap, adopted by a band of gypsies, chatted shoes, coming in to me. canvas here and uh, I did a little wash down on the canvas uh, it's basically I just thinned out some paint big time and it was mostly a lot of browns a lot of umbers and things like that just to create kind of a dark uh, base for the paint just, and you can see here it's just kind of a squiddly diddly kind of and uh, um, no doubt you're impressed by all these technical terms Notice that it also looks like the eye of Jupiter. Mm. Just for the record. I meant to do that. <laughs> anyway, okay, folks, uh, let's let's aim let's aim the camera at that canvas and okay. see what happens when a bunch of crackheads try to paint.
want to maybe leave the nice people with a more stocky male lemur? Why not? Yeah. Wait, we should mention that there's a lemur in the band. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth Essex. Elizabeth Abigail Essex is a uh, is a member of Stocky Male Negro. Yeah. She's awesome, and she's also a fan of Wendy O. Williams, so. Yeah. Go Liz. Go Liz. Yeah. Rock on. Rock on. She's also in another band that's starting up called The Fuck Tards. Oh, yeah. Which are building up quite a buzz apparently around town, so. Yeah. yeah. Look, if you live in Fayetteville, watch out for The Fuck Tards. They're coming to your area. They're coming to your area. They're going to... They're going to destroy your home. They're going to destroy your home, have sex with your kids. Um, I don't know. Stink up your bathroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Think of it as And like, your lawn will die. They're, they're like your, your favorite dirty uncle. Yeah. But, be, but they're better at music mm -hmm. than your dirty uncle. So. Fucking hell. <laughs> Are we going to have the lizard stepping up for... The Liz is very beautifully song, sung song about being trapped in the lair of a serpentine. Wow! Ah! Yeah! Trapped in the lair of the dragon! Steel shall provide! The light of which I'm speaking for! The glorious is my pride! Trapped in the lair of the dragon! Trapped in the lair of the dragon! Trapped in the lair of the dragon! Steel! And me! And what you say don't shower upon me! The wrath and the tyrant shall not be my time! I am the Antichrist! Fought by the lair of steel and wrath! Trapped in the lair of the dragon! Trapped in the lair of the dragon! Trapped in the lair of the dragon! Trapped in the lair! Odin, he shall provide us with a mighty glory from above and the change are not on us. We are dragons and badges tied forth. Our power eternal! Eternal! Yeah! We shall never die! We're the stuffy man, Negro! Fucking awesome God! Reading mushrooms in the bathroom. Chucky Bounty, you grow armor of silver. Blinking. Soft, soft, rock. Lame ass, weak, non threatening suburban white boy junk played by bands like Men Without Testicles. 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 Reach over here and fondle my balls. Balls. Balls, balls, balls. Reach over here. Balls, balls. Reach over here. Balls, balls. Reach over here. Reach over here and find my balls, balls, balls. Fuck these new age techno dick. 
dicks, dicks, dicks. Whatever happened to music with testicles, testicles. <laughs> Sam Hill. Cars, cars, cars.